Hi, I'm Mark Passwaters, the publisher of AggieL.com, and here are your three quick things for Friday, January 18th, 2019. And I got 2019 on the first try. Okay, number one, we're going to talk about the AggieL 100, which was released this morning. Uh, this is the 2019 version, and I'm sure that if you take a look, and since we have six A&M signees in the top ten, that there will be some criticism, probably externally, but maybe some folks on the site will complain that we had six Aggies in the top ten. You know, that's bias. My response would be, prove it. There are three Aggies in this top four. They're all five stars. Texas A&M did a very, very good job of recruiting in-state. They got the elite players in-state. And frankly, there were a couple that we missed on in April 2018 when we put it together. Baylor Cup's one of them. You got a guy that's a physical freak. He deserved to be higher than he was, and we moved him up accordingly. I thought we were actually pretty fair, especially with the Texas commits. Javon Shepard made a big jump, uh, for instance. You know, so if you want to criticize us for being an Aggie site and having Aggies at the top of the list, I would refer you to Jimbo Fisher because he did a really, really good job. Otherwise, I don't think you have much of a case. Number two. Let's talk about the game between Texas A&M and Auburn the other night at Reed Arena. This was something I should have mentioned yesterday, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it now. When you have an opposing player come out at a press conference and say that you didn't hustle, and that your coach comes out at his press conference and agrees that you didn't hustle, I got a problem with that. That's a very bad deal. A&M does not have the talent on this team to go out there and play lackadaisically, play half-hearted, occasionally play defense, and not hustle up and down the court. If they're going to do that, they're going to get their coach fired. Yeah, I don't know if that's what they want to do. I doubt it. Billy Kennedy's a great guy. If you ever meet him, you'll come away with that opinion. But honestly, the Aggies cannot continue to play at this kind of pace, at this kind of level, show up when they want. Maybe they did against Alabama in the second half. They didn't show up at all the other night against Auburn. They got Missouri tomorrow. That's a good opportunity to get back on track. If they don't do it, then they're going to be one and four in conference, and I think things look pretty bad for Coach Kennedy. Number three, even though it's not supposed to be sports-related, it is sports-related today. It's going to be the championship games this weekend. AFC and NFC. Rams, Saints, Patriots, Chiefs. Give me the Saints, and until further notice, until somebody beats them, give me the Patriots. That's all I got. So we'll see you Monday, even though it's a holiday. I'll be here. See you.